mean rolling hills? Rolling hills, like the beaut when you look at Tuscany and it's like, oh, rolling hills. It looks like it's, they're rolling, rolling. like a wave. Welcome to our casa, and today we're making pork belly panini, Italian street food style. We don't have all the ingredients to make the traditional porchetta, so this is like our deconstructed version, a flavor homage. First thing we start with is the star of the dish, our one pound of pork belly. Last night's preparations were scoring the skin and fat of the pork belly about a quarter of an inch apart. And then we crushed fennel seed, black pepper, and mixed that into a super flaky sea salt. Rubbed it all into every crevice of the pork belly, on the meat side, on the skin side. Put it into a glass container and let it sit in the fridge overnight. But we did not cover it. We want it to have lots of air to dry out that pork skin so it becomes nice and crispy when we cook it. On the day of cooking, we take out these beautiful little babies about 20, 30 minutes before we're ready to cook and preheat our oven to 350. We're gonna cook our pork belly on a baking sheet with a cooling rack. Just fit it right inside. There is some debate on where this Italian national treasure originated. Ariccia says it has ancient ties, while Umbria calls itself the birthplace. But wherever it comes from, I bet that you're gonna be able to find it at any food truck or produce market anywhere in the country. Now you'll find this beauty of a sandwich in between different kinds of rolls, sliced bread, even focaccia. But today we are going to use a homemade sourdough ciabatta. Ta-da! But feel free to use any kind of your favorite panino bread. Porchetta is a culinary icon from Lazio, and it's made by stuffing and layering the meat with the fat and the skin all rolled up together. And of course, we're not making that today, but we are going to be using the same flavors, like fennel and pepper, like they do in Umbria. So it looks like the theme region of today is gonna to be Umbria. Located at the center of the country, that's why it's usually called the green heart of Italy, Umbria never fails to amaze. One of the few regions without a coastline, Umbria is famous for its rolling hills, medieval town, and fantastic food. Off the beaten path of mass tourism, especially if compared it with its bordering region of Tuscany, and if we don't include the town of Assisi, birthplace of St. Francis, visited by millions and millions of tourists and pilgrims every year. On top of all this, Umbria is a big wine region for Italy. The most prestigious and famous wine produced is the Sagrantino. The wine we're drinking today is called Umbria Rosso, Umbrian Red, and it's produced by a winemaker called Cantina Fongoli. We are absolutely obsessed with this winemaker. The wine we're drinking today is the fruit of a very strict biodynamic protocol and organic agriculture. No chemicals are used whatsoever to enhance the soil or to make it more productive. Decio Fongoli founded this estate and cantina in the early 1900. Today, the operation is run by Angelo Fongoli, fourth generation in the family tree and his own family. This wine bottled in this amazing, beautiful, rustic, clear glass is a 60% Sangiovese, 40% Montepulciano. And we are so happy and honored to have the Fangoli family today with us in Brooklyn. So let's open it. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. To Umbria. To Umbria. Mamma mia. <laughs> Fantastic. Wow. Fantastic. Thank you, Fongoli family. Thank you, Fongoli. Let's start prepping the toppings. We're gonna make a nice caramelized onion and fennel with 
Some broccoli rabe, of course, the perfect pairing for your pork belly. We're gonna start with our saute pan with two tablespoons of butter and some olive oil. Once the butter is all melted and bubbling, we're gonna add our onion and our fennel bulbs. Gonna add a little salt and some fresh cracked black pepper. After 12 minutes of cooking our fennel and onion and keep stirring it so it doesn't stick to the bottom, I'm going to lower the heat to medium and cover. Let's check on the pork. Looks good, so it's been cooking for an hour at 350. Next step is to put the temperature up to 425 and let that skin crisp up for about 15, 20 minutes. We have a pot of water boiling because we're going to blanch our broccoli rob. We're gonna let it boil for just five minutes. We really just want the stems to get a little softer. Fennel and onion we're cooking for about five minutes covered. Then you can uncover it and you can see that it's starting to get all nice and brown. We're just gonna take a little bit of water, scrape those nice caramelized brown bits off the bottom. Just gonna roughly chop that broccoli rob. I want nice bite-sized pieces. Be careful, it's hot. Once you see your onions and your fennel really starting to brown up nicely with a beautiful caramelization, now we're gonna add our broccoli rob. For a little spice, we're gonna add our red pepper flakes, pepperoncino. A little bit more salt. After 15 minutes, take that beautiful pork out, and admire that crispy skin. We're gonna make a little spread to put on our beautiful pork belly sandwich. So we're gonna start with two tablespoons of mayo and add one tablespoon of your favorite kind of mustard. I like to use this horseradish infused Dijon. And we're also, to make it super sweet, we're gonna add a little tablespoon of honey. Gotta make room for all that beautiful pork. Like we just came from a Roman street food fair. Yeah, let's pretend to be an Uber in one of those mm. carnivals. I'm lost for words. Where are you going? Subscribe? He always forgets. I'm a disaster. Subscribe. Like, ring the bell. Enjoy!